Thank you, gentlemen. Um, I thought it was appropriate to come after Linda since she was at the last um, economic strategy meeting, um, specifically talking about infrastructure. So I'm here today to uh, first thank you for um, supporting um, the joint uh, conversation that we have about economic strategies as well as the infrastructure funding uh, that has been granted to us by the legislature uh, back in 1998 and brings in approximately $300,000 a year. Many uh, different infrastructure projects, including infrastructure pro projects in Quilcy, have been beneficiaries. Um, the port, uh, Jackson Street infrastructure, the port, port Coast Oyster project down in Quilcy, uh, the PUD um, in terms of their sparkling well expansion, um, and the city in a couple of different um, water lines and, and uh, street infrastructure projects. <coughs> and of course, as you know, um, these infrastructure, infrastructure projects um, are um, essential to economic development, and that is what the legislature has um, mandated that they be spent on. Um, I think that we're at a, a real uh, difficult area right now because we need to make sure uh, as a group, the port, the county, the city, and the PUD, that we make sure that these infrastructure funds continue to come in. They're supposed to uh, expire in 2023, and now the governor is talking about putting them on the chopping block as part of um, the uh, budget shortfall of $2.2 billion in the state. So I think together we need to work to be sure that these rural infrastructure uh, funds are kept in our community, and we look forward to working with you because, as you know, uh, that funding is essential to Quilcy, uh, to the Sparling Well that has been uh, approved, uh, to the city, which was approved back in 2007, for its submittal and approved in 2008. Uh, we're looking forward to you um, approving uh, the release of those funds as we are looking forward to the approval of more funds being spent for the different parts of this county, uh, getting the much needed infrastructure as we just heard Linda uh, talk about. So um, I wanna thank you for your approval of these funds release and I would urge us to all work together as the state has mandated in making sure that this money is shared amongst all of us. Um, I'll just remind you that the city of Port Townsend does bring in 60% of that money and that we need to lobby together in Olympia uh, to make sure that these funds are not cut from our county. Um, they're essential. Thank you. Thank you very much. And